Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from OnlinePhotographyTraining.com. Welcome to my video series, Learn Lightroom CC, also known as Lightroom in the Cloud. I'm down to the last few videos of this series, and I mentioned in my last video that if there's anything I haven't covered and you'd like me to cover to comment about it and I'll make sure that I make a video where I cover whatever it is I've missed. And yesterday somebody posted a comment mentioning that I should demonstrate how to get those third-party presets and profiles into Lightroom CC. I've mentioned several times throughout this series that any third-party presets or profiles that you've installed into Lightroom Classic CC won't show up in Lightroom CC. Well, you really have to go through a process to get them in there, and I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. Now, what I'm talking about, as you can see, I have Lightroom Classic CC open, and if I go over to the Presets tab, you'll notice I have a number of third-party presets. Specifically, I have the ones I sell. Anything here that says Anthony M are third-party presets that I sell. Also above those, you'll see Patreon rewards. For those that are my Patreons, I have presets as rewards and I give them out every month. Now, as far as profiles are concerned, the same thing. If I open that up, I have a number of third-party profiles, specifically the profiles I sell, and I have a number of Patreon reward profiles that I give out monthly. Now, those are all in my Lightroom Classic CC. If you go over to Lightroom CC and we look first at the presets, you'll notice that most of those third-party presets aren't there. The only ones that are there are the Patreon rewards for November. And the only reason why they are there is because to, to practice for this video, I imported those into Lightroom CC just to make sure that the process goes smoothly so I could demonstrate it for you now. Similarly, if I go over to the profile browser, you'll notice that none of those third-party profiles are here except for that November Patreon reward profiles are there as well. So I need to uh, get in the rest of these third-party profiles and the rest of these third-party presets. And don't worry, you don't need the original package. So if you bought presets from somewhere or profiles from somewhere or you just downloaded some from the internet, and you deleted the original download, don't worry about it. You don't need the original download. Uh, what we're going to do is just go to where they reside on your computer for Lightroom Classic CC, and we're gonna let Lightroom CC know where they are so it can access them as well. Now there is a specific page on Adobe's website that explains how to do this. In the description below this video, I'm going to have a link to that web page. And those of you that have Windows computers, there's going to be one part that's going to be slightly different, and I'll explain when we get to that part. And you'll need to reference that page so you understand the link you're going to need to use. Obviously, I'm working on a Mac. So those of you that have uh, Apple computers, you could just follow along and go exactly as I'm showing. Again, Windows computers, there's going to be one little part, we'll talk about it in a minute, um, that you're going to have to do slightly differently. Now, right here we have uh, Lightroom Classic CC. Again, I have all these presets and profiles. And in Lightroom CC, I don't have those. So how do we get them into Lightroom CC? Well, I, I mentioned we have to let Lightroom CC know where they are. To do that, with Lightroom CC, go up to File and then down to Import Profiles and Presets. Now, when you do, uh, Finder will open up. If you have a Windows computer, uh, Windows File Explorer opens up. And this is the only part that's slightly different. We have to go to a specific location on our computer. If you have a Mac computer, you would hit uh, Shift-Command-G, and you'll have a Go to Folder pop up. And this is the actual web address we have to go to, and it is on that specific web page that I'm talking about that is on Adobe. Those of you that have Windows computers have to go to this location. And it's a C 
uh, and assuming it's you have a C drive, it's uh, users, then username, whatever your username is, you have to put in there, and then it's App Data, Roaming, Adobe, Camera Raw, Settings. So you put that in the search bar if you have a Windows computer, and again, I'll have a link to this web page in the description below this video. So you could just copy and paste that and then insert your username where it says username and you should be good to go. Again, if you have a Mac computer, you hit Shift Command G so your go to folder pops up and you paste what it says for the Mac computer right here into there. Then you click Go. Now when you do that, it's going to bring you to the settings folder that is in your Adobe settings and it's really not going to be usually correct. Meaning if you look at it, you'll see user presets and if you click there, there's nothing there. So we go back to the settings and it has these index files and that's not what you need. So it's a little misleading because it's not really what we want. What you're going to look for though in that same folder area, look for imported settings and click on that. Now you'll see all my different Patreon rewards and presets that I sell are here. So we're good to go. But in this case, I could just select them all and click import. But I already have the November uh, profiles in here and the November presets in here for Patreon. So I don't want to select those. So I'm just going to click on the first one, hold the shift key and click on the last one. Then I'm going to deselect the November one. So I'm going to hold the command key in and deselect the presets and deselect the profiles, which is right there. So we have all the rest of them selected, as you could see. And now I'll click import. And when I do, you'll see in the top left hand corner, we have a progress bar. There's a lot there, so it's going to take a second. And once they're there, it says 290 presets and 261 profiles have been imported. And you can look over at the profile browser and you can see they're all there. My alternate reality profiles, my black and white profiles, infrared, if you have an infrared camera, profiles, landscape profiles, all of them. They're all there. Similarly, I'll close down the profile browser. We'll go to the presets and you'll see that they're all there. All my presets are there. All the profiles are there, or all the uh, Patreon reward presets are there, I'm sorry. And furthermore, if you access Lightroom CC on a tablet or your smartphone, all these presets and profiles will be available on those devices as well. So that's it. That's how you get them in to Lightroom CC. Why Adobe just didn't make that automatic, I have no idea. I mean, most of us probably have Lightroom Classic CC. We've imported profiles and presets, and then we got Lightroom CC later. Why it just doesn't automatically grab those presets and profiles, I don't know. But this is how you do it. Hopefully that made sense. Again, check the description below this video for the link to Adobe's website for that web page that will uh, give a little more detail on how to do this and give those two um, links uh, that you need to do or those folders uh, locations that you'll need for both Apple computers and Windows-based computers. And hopefully you'll be able to get any third-party presets and profiles that you use in Lightroom Classic CC into your Lightroom CC and you'll be good to go. Thank you everyone for watching my video series, Learn Lightroom CC. If you could do me a favor and like and share the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd really appreciate that as well. Also, in the description below this video will be a link to my website. Come visit my website, onlinephotographytraining.com. There you'll find all kinds of free photography how-to articles and videos. I'll talk to you guys soon.